Welcome back to another exciting school year and we noticed there are a lot of teachers who are struggling with setting up gradebook on Infinite Campus and this is such an important tool for classroom management and also for our student uh, success in our class. So we are going to show you how to set up your gradebook on Infinite Campus. The first thing you notice if you are on Infinite Campus right next to the bell on the upper right hand corner you click right there and that will give us access to the instruction and if you notice the option to click on instruction and go back to the tool is right over there which is now on the upper left hand corner so let's go back to instruction again now let's go back and set up our gradebook and you go down a little bit you see gradebook right there okay so the first thing you notice that you have your student and there's nothing there, okay? So the secret is that we need to realize that we are going through a semester system which is quarter two and of term gray. And before you add any assignments or anything like that, you need to set up categories because what if you have tests that worth 60% and homework worth 30% and participation with 10% which is our class so the first thing you need to do is click on category which is directly from the setting click on category and you notice I already create a category already let me delete that category first for you okay how about that so now assume that we start from the very beginning all you have to do is add category and I'm gonna call this assessment so this includes all the tests, all the quiz, all the assessment for my class. And I check for all the sections so that way you don't have to do individually for every single class that you have. And I would say for my class it's worth 60% and this would be the first thing I want to see then that would be sequence number one. Sequence are basically the order you want to show the category to your student and then you are done. Now let's create another category. In this case I'm going to have assignments okay and in my class it worth 30 percent and this would be the sequence number two that I would like the student to see in that specific order and I'm done with the assignments and then let's do the last one which is participation and in my class or in our class participation worth 10 percent and this is the last thing the student is going to see. So number three, sequence number three. Okay, and now we have the three category and notice the three category adding up to 100%. Okay, and then we can close this. But one of the most important thing is that you really have to do is that you need to make sure that Infinite Campus will do the great calculation throughout the whole entire semester. And how you do that is you need to go to grade calculation option. And notice there's nothing there because you haven't set up a great calculation for the uh, this specific section yet. So continue, okay? And I would like to go in progress gray. And what I choose is of course the MVUSD standards and I use weighted category. And the weighted category is basically the three category that I created, okay? And then I save. And that's pretty much all you have to do. And I really like the option of Showing or coloring for grade for pass and fail that way the student gonna know if they pass or fail especially for us too and uh, Also color the score. Why not? They give you the option. Why not choose to, to give us better understanding of our student and Then that's pretty much it and now let's create the first assignment for our class. So Notice let's go back first right here. You see right there. You click on add and you create your first assignment. So in my first, for our class, the first assignment is the syllabus, okay? And the abbreviation, which is just the first four letters that we see from the name of the assignments, okay? And something new on the new Infinite Campus is notice the section, not all the section is given to us right here, but you actually click on add or remove and you have the option of adding all of them. Since syllabus is applied to all my class, I just add it there. And if you want to remove, just remove it. Okay? That's pretty much it. And now I want to add it again. Let's add it again. And okay. So again, you have the sequence number, 
which allow you to use to organize your assignments. But in the end, I really like the due date because because in the end, Infinite Campus actually gave us the option to organize the assignment based on due date. Then if you scroll down, you can see that you have the option of choosing specific category. In this case, syllabus go to the assignments. And you can actually choose the point values. I make it without 10 points. Then you can also adding more specific details or description about the assignment. So that way, when the student look at it or the parents look at it, they know exactly what is the assignment's about and what's the purpose of giving it in the first place. Um, and then you just save. And notice how you see on this page because it is just saved. It doesn't close for you. So now you close it. And look at that right there. You have your assignments right there. And another beautiful thing about Infinite Campus is that if we have an assignment where a bunch of students earn full credits, you can actually put in multiple scores to all the students. Let's say I want to give all of them 10 points, and look what happened. They all have 10 points. And then you can edit out those students who did not turn the work. And that's pretty much it. Um, in terms of set up your gradebook, but one last thing is this that you have to do grade calculation for each one of your section. It doesn't apply to all the section. You have to do it one by one. And hopefully this helps and good luck this year.